So now I'm going to go over some harder uh, chain rule examples. Uh, say if we're given the function f of x is equal to the square root of 9x cubed plus 2x. And remember what I said in my previous video. I said that you need to use a chain rule whenever you see a parentheses followed by an exponent. And we don't have a parentheses followed by an exponent right here. But what we want to do is we want to get rid of the square root and write it as a one-half exponent. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this square root and rewrite it as a one-half exponent. That's one rule from algebra that you probably learned a long time ago and you probably forgot by now. But a square root can be written with a one-half exponent. So instead of writing the square root of 9x cubed plus 2x, I'm going to write 9x cubed plus 2x with a one-half exponent. Now we certainly have a parentheses followed by an exponent. Um, so in order to take the derivative, we certainly have to use uh, the chain rule. So let's just dig right into it. Our derivative is going to be, and before I get started, I'm just going to copy and paste to save a little bit of time. So our first step using the chain rule is we want to take our exponent and we want to bring it to the front. So I'm going to take my 1 half and multiply it in the front. The inside of the parentheses stays exactly the same. And our third step is we want to subtract the exponent by 1. So since we had a 1 half exponent in our original function, we want to subtract 1 half by 1. So 1 half minus 1 is a negative 1 half. Um, so in our derivative, the exponent is going to be negative 1 half. And then moving on to our last step is we want to multiply by the derivative of the inside of the parentheses. Uh, so since the inside of the parentheses is 9x cubed plus 2x, we want to multiply everything by the derivative of that. So the derivative of 9x cubed is just 27x squared. And the derivative of 2x is just positive 2. And once again, we always need to simplify as much as possible. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite the 1 half in the front. And it's always improper to leave a negative exponent in your final answer. So if you remember from algebra, a negative exponent in your numerator is a positive exponent in your denominator. Uh, so 9x cubed plus 2x to the negative 1 half in the numerator is going to be the same as 9x cubed plus 2x with a positive 1 half exponent in a denominator. And our 27x squared plus 2 uh, cannot be simplified any further, so that just stays in the numerator. And many of you should know that you should never multiply anything by 1 because it's just itself. So I'm just going to erase this 1 being multiplied. And this is our final answer. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.